you're watching Monty TV, I'm Jackie Karsh, sitting down now with Douglas Merrill. He's the founder of Zest Finance, a data-driven underwriting and credit analysis platform. There's a story behind this company. Why don't you share that with me? I was sitting next to my, next to my pool and my phone rang. It was my, my wife's sister, Vic. Vic's a great lady. She's a single mother of four. Uh, she dropped out of high school, but so she's going back to school. She has four kids, going to school, and has a full-time job, right? That's just, that life is not livable. And she's like 35 million other Americans who could not come up with $1,000 of cash on 14 days notice, right? That's a, that's a study from the Federal Reserve. It's a lot of people and not much money. So she called me and, and I answered. And she said, hey Douglas, I've got a flat tire. Now, Vic lives in Washington. My response, which was thoughtful and kind and generous, was, well, Vic, I'm not gonna fly up there and change your tire, right? What do you want from me? She's like, no, no, Douglas, you're not listening. If I, if I can't fix my tire, I can't get to work. If I can't get to work, I'll lose my job. And if I lose my job, my kids will lose their healthcare coverage. I was like, oh, you need money. I get it, that's fine, here's a credit card. She bought a tire, life went on, it was good. She called me a few days later, and I said, Vic, what would you have done if I hadn't answered my phone? Because I normally don't. And she said, oh, that's cool, it seems no problem. I would have taken out another payday loan. I was like, oh, cool. What's a, what's a payday loan? I didn't know that 30 million Americans took out a payday loan last year, and they paid on average a 400% APR uh, for the privilege of borrowing a few hundred dollars. And actually, the credit's pretty good. I couldn't figure out how such a horrible credit product existed for a really needed, I think Vic needed her tires. She didn't have, there was no choice in the matter. So I started thinking, oh, okay, the reason this credit product exists and is so bad it's because underwriting, the way to decide if I give you a loan or not, was created in 1950 and basically hasn't changed since then, and life has changed since 1950. Oh, it's a math problem, okay. So I said, can we take the math that we developed at Google and apply it to credit to see if we can provide fair and transparent credit for everyone, even to Vic, and that's why we found Zest. What, do you, what numbers are we talking? Uh, we've got a, a person who makes loans to people like Vic, and those are very small dollar loans. We, have, we work with mortgage dealers, we work with one of the largest banks in Turkey across their personal loan portfolio, we do a bunch of audit, auto stuff. So we have like all kinds of different products out there. I founded Zest to make fair and transparent credit available to everyone. And when we've done that, I'll take a day off.